everyone, I am the Dragon Skull, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. Where we left off, um, we, um, had another, we had another run-in with um, Neil, who came back to, um, do some more progress on his um, mission to breed with a, with a, with a, with a girl. But it, it isn't working so well. And it turns out, uh, the reason why he's doing it is because he wants to give, um, uh, this version of uh, Planet Earth its very own Superman. But it's not going to be easy because the person he wants to breed with, they have to be pure of heart and um, the hero has to grow up loving the earth, which is going to be um, difficult. And um, we're on day nine now, so let's um, read today's evening whispers before I'm um, opening up shop. Okay. Protests arise over government treatment of, the, of Atlantic immigrants. Dwarven-made cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor. The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. That's good. Anyway, welcome to Dragon Skull's Coffee. How, may I take your order? Welcome. Oh. Okay. Um, the hit, the hit, the assassin from Hitman is here. Okay. Good evening, sir. Hello. I am from the, the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division. Or, or FIRE, for short. Hmm, that's pretty good. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. Well, we take the, is we take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm, I don't think so. But what should I be? But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? My character's lying to protect Neil, which is probably a good thing to do because, well, you know how governments are. If they see an alien life form, they'd want to capture and dissect it or something. We are not 100% sure, but according to to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or si or sim something similar. That's uh. A pretty eye-catching outfit. You think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a, a solid possibility that we have been running after uh, the uh, after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you, if you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Wait, we? It's just you here. Take care on your way. Okay, we had a fire agent come in. And... Phew. So my character was protecting Neil, which is a good thing, because Neil's a nice um, guy. Well, we don't know what gender he is, specifically, but I assume he's male because he chose a male name. And he wants to breed with females, so it makes sense. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Hey, it's Aqua Myrtle. Good evening, Dragon Skull. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been, been somewhere together? We've planned to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Sure thing. Alright, uh, tea with mint, so... Green tea and two mints, then. You're gonna have a very minty tea, then. Which is what you want, obviously. A mar a marraquette. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Marraquette. Doesn't matter. Also, it turns out I did forget to uh, leave the description- leave uh, my comic in the description again, so... I just slapped myself in the face. You guys can't see it, but I actually did slap myself in the face. It was hard to do with the headphones on, but I did I did do it. I apologize again. But if you do want there is a link to um 
what, like a, a vid, well, there's a link to my callback in the video I did where I announced my callback, so if you want to check out, out my callback, you can go to that video for yourself. Your drink's ready. Ooh. Also, let's go in here real quick, just so we can get rid of that notification. There we go. This looks really fresh. This is called Marrakech, uh, inspired by its origin. Marrakech in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my. It's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order it uh, right away? Sure. I'll have the t the t uh, Tarek. I don't, I don't think I pronounced that right as well. All right. Uh, two tea and milk. Okay. That's green tea. The regular tea we need. Is this the right one? Yep, that's the right one. Here's your te Tarek. Is, this, is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. Okay, Tomodachi's been updated again. And there's that new tea. I'm guessing it's Myrtle and, um, yeah, it is Myrtle. Um, did I read Aquas? Yeah, I did read Aquas fully. It's Myrtle's I've read fully yet. Okay. Okay, Myrtle. Th birthday 13th of May. She's a game developer. Uh, Self summary. Game programmer working on Full Metal Conflict series. Favorite things. Me time. <laughs> what I'm doing with my life. As I've stated before, working on Full Metal Conflict series. Well, okay. <laughs> she doesn't really sh say much. The only ones I haven't, that haven't been fully up, um, shown yet are Rachel and Hendry. So, when they both come in, and they should both be on here at some point. The taste is really authentic. Just like the Tetaric you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliments. Where did you learn to make it? I travelled around Southeast Asia a, a few years ago. So you learn and about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um, how are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a, a, a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh. I want to say... A Please don't forget to rest. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. <laughs> As if those ex executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they, 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 they'll say. Please see your family. Get some rest. But we all know that, option, that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Doing Myrtle's voice really does a number on my throat. <clears> throat> See what I mean? But I, I, I can keep going. Not giving up on this. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your mor morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. Her guilt is something that also bothers me a, a lot. Even 
arrested him for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, but it still ill saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I, I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. <laughs> She's so adorable, Aqua. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that, that bad off, you know? At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So, don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us, us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of development is going to be uh, so much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be a uh, showcased at Max West this year. <laughs> Max West instead of Pax East. I see what you did there, uh, developers. I've never been to Pax East. Um, because, well, it's an American convention kind of thing. I, I've only been to Comic Cons in, um, right here in, in, in England. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast before they give you your spot to another indie. I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free of, for indies. That's good then. And the events, e and, and the events even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommoda accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough uh, valid validation to, re to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually pro a prolific people in the industry. And also senior journalists. <coughs> oh, God. Myrtle's, doing Myrtle's voice really do he, he hurts my throat. Need to take a bit of a break. <sighs> take some deep breaths. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready. God, you're coming up now. God. Doing Myrtle's voice really, really doesn't help. Anyway, let's continue. I know. But I told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. And thousands of people will be visiting Max. Expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know? And you'll be in the indie industry. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? If you get any haters, just ignore them. They don't mean anything. I mean, I sometimes get occasional haters um, commenting on my videos every now and then. But do I um, get upset about it? No, I just ignore them. Because if you let haters get to you, then you're just giving them what they want. Because all haters want in the end is um, to see you get hurt by what they're saying. Like there was this one guy who commented on my um, Crash Bandicoot um, live stream, and he kept boasting about how good he was at the games. Like, oh, you're you're terrible. You're gay. You should go see your boyfriend. And, but, and, well, that guy, he's just, he was just a complete, eat a not a douche. Who's, and he's arrogant if he believes that he's the best Crash Bandicoot player in the world. Anyway, enough, to, enough about me, let's go back to, um, Aqua. Well, if they don't like my game and they s Oh, I already said that. What about me? Th that's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. 
people are way nicer in real life. Mm, that's that is true actually. I mean, when I went to the comic cons I've been to, I haven't met a single person who was um a complete a hole. So, because well, all, the people who are into in the anime community are really good people, and I'm glad I'm a part of that. Uh, even after all that, I'm st I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. I can't just imagine the horror. I, I feel that struggle though. I was like that with Chaos Man as well, like my comic. Because, um, a part of me is scared that people would just see it as a Sonic the Hedgehog ripoff because I did base it off of the Sonic series. Like, for example, Chaos Man has the same powers as, uh, like, the, like, he has Chaos powers like Sonic and Shadow do. And, and the Chaos Emeralds are in Chaos Man as well. And some of the storylines are based off of some of the games, but. They're not too similar. I made sure of that. And while part of me is worried that people will be like, Oh, this is just a, a Sonic ripoff. Boo. Oh, I still like Chaos Man how it is. And I'm very confident that other people will love it. The only, prob the only thing I fear is the old copyright thing. And that in if, it, if it gets noticed, then it won't get an anime adaptation or video games in the future. And I really do want that. I really want Chaos Man to have an anime adaptation and even a video game based off of it as well in the future. That would That is my dream right there. So I can understand where Aqua's going from when she's um, scared about um, showing her dream project to the public. Myrtle's just on the phone, besides. You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around there. If things stay this way until Max, I'll come with you. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. Uh, I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come um, with an ex ex exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There, there are hundreds of us. I can just ask, ask my lead, my lead to skip this year. But, but, but. I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Good. Now, what are you, go are you going to show the game on? I have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. No, 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 no. You need to show a demo of a game to get people interested. Like, um, Little Nightmares 2 has recently released, um, like, some gameplay footage of it. To, s so, um, get to show gamers what the game would be like. I've seen some of it, and I am Im immediately drawn to it. And I can tell that, um, L Little Nightmares 2 may even be better than the first one. Because the first game took place in one location, the Maw. So, and Little Nightmares 2 is going to be in an open world area. Like, a world, the world outside the Maw. So I'm excited about that, and they've added some new gameplay mechanic as well. That's it was. I had that same reaction when I saw gameplay of The Last of Us 2 because I like how open world The Last of Us 2 was. Like the gameplay of The Last of Us 2 was amazing. It's the story that was the weakest part of it. But the gameplay is the is the mostly why I like The Last of Us 2 compared to the first one. But in terms of story, I, pre I prefer the first Last of Us. Anyway, don't. I can give you the guidelines of what uh, to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? Yes, it's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. 
goddess. No, let's see. Ooh, another customer. Who is it this time? Welcome to Dragon Skulls Coffee, how may I serve you? Hey, Rachel! It's been a long time since we've seen you. Oh, she looks upset, though. Hello, Miss Rachel. Uh, how did I do her voice again? I think I did, like, a sassy girl's voice because she was so sassy um, the first time we met. But, well, she's not full of sass now. She looks upset, so... Hi, Dragon Skull. Hmm. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm really tired. And I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. I'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that, that those announced this late are... Backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes. And I'm excited for it. I like how she does that some thing with her hand, like how a cat does it, uh, does a paw because she's a cat girl. That is cute. And I also like that little bow and bell on her tail as well. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? Sweet hot chocolate. Alright, hot chocolate. Uh, okay, so... Chocolate, honey and milk, it says. Okay. Hopefully that comes out right. And here we are. One Chocobi Miruku. Hmm. Like the sound of that. Alright, let's serve her, see if she likes it. And another cat girl just walked by. Here's your drink. Oh, it looks very pretty. And it's warm and sweet. I love it. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Okay, back to the, the game, you devs. Oh. Tomodachi's been updated again. It's probably Rachel's profile. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, well, it's not fully open yet, so I'm going to wait a bit until it is. Uh, same with Hendry as well. Other than in the instructions on the loading screen. Try putting a time limit on how long on they can play. Why? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you want to put a, a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Oh, another customer. Oh, it's Hendry! So both Rachel and her dad are in the same place. Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening? Oh god, what did he do? I was worried I couldn't find you in anywhere around the studio. So, I thought you'd be here. So father and daughter are finally in one, in, in one spot. Hopefully they um, figure out their issues. Uh, is Hendry's been updated? No, it hasn't. All right. We'll wait a bit longer before checking. And now you're causing another ruckus? We're, we're sorry, Dragon Skull. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What do you have then? What do you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Span Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Alright then, so... Cho so, uh, chocolate, milk, and ginger. Okay. 
chocolate, milk, and ginger. There we go. One Spanish Sahara coming right up. There we go. Oh, I even put a um something in it. I don't know what that is. I don't think that's the ginger because I was chopping up the ginger. I think that's like a churro or something. Hopefully he likes it. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes? Please just go, oh, uh, go out home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know, Morris. He is not a good person. Oh yeah, the Morris Lester character. Yeah, I actually have to agree with Hendry on this one. He definitely has, um... I mean, his name is Morris Lester, which sounds like Mo Lester. It, it's kind of um, obvious he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a pervert of some kind. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing this, this band, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Oh boy. When that when that close-up happens, you know that they're going to start up yelling at each other. And I bet Aqua and Myrtle are just like in the background like, uh, maybe we should stay out of this. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from Mom? You were together for almost 15 years. But you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Oh, Rachel, I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder. Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. You know, you know what? It will take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out. This is nice. He wants to be her manager instead of the mo the the um molester guy, Morris Lester, whatever. I think that's actually a good idea, because uh, not only would he be a good manager because um he's um her, her dad, but um that way they'd grow closer and fix their relationship. But we. It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose, lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at, is at the height of his career now. He's the best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I, I do agree with Hendry, though, that there's something very fishy about, um, about, um, that molester, that, I keep calling him molester, <laughs> Morris Lester guy, I mean, I don't know who he is, but I, I can tell, you know, he might be a bad person, I mean, Rachel is 18 years old, um, and he's probably way older than 18, so, yeah, and cat girl, she's a cat girl as well, so that kind of makes it worse. I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. 
I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away, and it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel or the label provided. But that's... See you, see you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. Aww. Aww, poor Hendry. I, re I really feel bad for him. Excuse me for a moment, Dragon Skull. Why he's going after her. Aww. Poor Hendry. I really do feel bad for him. Let's check in now, see if it's been updated. Oh, Hendry's has been fully updated, so let's check out Hendry's. Okay. I really like that picture of him and young Rachel. That is adorable. Okay. Birthday, 23rd of May. So summary, music enthusiast and father. Favorite things, family and music. What I'm doing with my life. Trying to be a better father while running a, re a record store. He, he owns a record store? That's great. That's actually good business for someone who used to be in the music industry. The only one who hasn't been updated fully yet is Rachel, so I'm going to wait a bit until um, hers is fully updated like everybody else's. And let's uh, get rid of that. There we go. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were, bu we were, we were, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of our, my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and, and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. You said you weren't listening to my advice when you were focusing on them instead. Ooh. No, I was listening. I made notes. <laughs> See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a family is useful af after all. But being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Dragon Skull, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care, of, care on your way home. And they're gone. Hmm, I guess that's all for, for two. Oh, someone else is coming in. Freya? Oh, Hendry's back, okay. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Are you all right, sir? Sir? Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's all right. I hope you're right. By the way, Pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? That's actually pretty good. I had a question to ask. Why did he leave? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the, be the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for, um, for, for girl bands, you know? So, they were huge in the 90s. So he quit um, in, when, when it was um, two, in, the, in 2000, because it's 2020 now in this year. Well, in this game, I mean. It's all like it's 2020 now. And they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. 
She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find pe you didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But we hit. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. Tell me about it. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families. And the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. That is true. I mean, I don't know much about um, the music industry myself, but I do know that back then and even now, they that, that um, fans can, and of the industry can be very, very, like, crazy. Okay. To the point where they do all those things that Hendry said they do. And he's worried for Rachel because he doesn't want her to be caught up in all that. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I remember when I was a, a kid, the internet wasn't a thing back then. Like, I didn't know what the internet was. I mostly relied on, like, TV and the outdoors. And now my whole life re revolves around the internet, which is kind of sad, really. I mean, I'm not complaining. I do, and I, I enjoy what I do, making YouTube videos for you guys, and um, like doing um, my comic and all that. Yeah. The internet is de definitely has has um helped me improve on my life, but at the same time, it's also you know, not doing some good things for my life as well. Like I don't um go out as much as I used to. The majority of my time is um, just spent sitting at, sitting in front of a screen do, in doing stuff. I really should uh, go out every now and then. I wasn't even the target of the abuse. But it haunted me. It was everywhere. They don't talk to me about... Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you what do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're we're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time. And we all meet up at at least it's once a year. Usually, it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home, too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Dragon Skull. And sorry for bringing our fight into your place. Don't worry about it. Alright. Alright, then. Goodbye. And he's off. Okay, now I think we should be closing up shop now. Yep. I thought someone was going to come in at the last second. Cappuccino, Italian delight. Sure is. I actually had a cappuccino one time. Well, sort of had a cappuccino. Like, what, my friend had a cappuccino and I took a little sip. Don't remember how I felt about it, though. Alright, Thursday, October 1st, 2020. Hey, it's, it's, um, well, it's not October now. I was about to say it's October now, but it's actually some September. <laughs> My mistake. Anyway, I'm going to be ending this episode right here. Alright, so we've only got, um, we're on day 10 now. So we've only got five more days left until we've, um, finished the game. So five more episodes after this one. 
So, Hendry and Rachel finally appeared at the same in the in the shop together, but they still have their issues to to work out. But we did learn more about um Hendry and uh, Rachel this time, and um at least their relationship is not as toxic as Hendry uh, described it to be um when the first time he came to to the coffee shop. And I do hope they do get be at, um better, like um. Hope maybe Rachel will finally understand that this Morris Lester guy is a um a bad person and her and her dad was only looking out for her this whole time. And I hope she allows him to be her manager instead. Ed, because um a father daughter management team, that sounds like a really good way of doing business. And as for Myrtle and um Aqua, they're, they're doing pretty well as well with their with their game development. And apparently they, um, Aqua is going to be presenting her game to um, um, Pax West, or Max West as it's called. <laughs> Hopefully their game does well. I'm curious on what their game is about though. Like, is it an RPG, a story based game, a horror game? I'm, I'm interested to find out. Or maybe it's a game like this. Maybe it's just like a visual novel type of game. Because that is what Coffee Talk is. Anyway, oh yeah, there was also that that fire agent who came in at the beginning. Said he was looking for Neil. I'm surprised my character um covered for Neil and um like told him he wasn't here, which was nice of him because I really like Neil and I don't want him to get captured and dissected by the by the government. Es especially when he's only he only came here to do a peaceful mission. He only he wants to give us Superman. Why would we stop him from giving us a Superman? Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you all next time. Peace.